Hey everyone. In the UK, Parliament is still on recess, and across the pond it's been nearly a week since Donald Trump sacked anyone. Indeed, the main story for quite a few days was the fury about silencing Big Ben for a couple of years so they could repair the stonework. It was getting pretty tense, actually, until the clock finally struck 11 o'clock and the pubs opened so the journalists and MPs alike had somewhere else to go. Luckily enough for the news star of newspapers, though, exam results came out this week. One great thing with school results is that if they've gone down, you can fill copy by criticising teaching standards, but if they go up, you can spend days complaining about how the exam have become easier. But the best thing really for, for newspapers and websites alike is that they can fill acres of space with photographs of people opening the results. Teenage girls opening the results, ethnic minority students celebrating the results, lots of attractive young women hugging each other, attractive ethnic minority girls leaping into the air, possibly cuddling one another. All sorts of photos really, just as long as they're vaguely suggestive and there aren't any boys or unattractive people in shot. Of course in the real world the only result that counts for much is your credit score, what with the fact that university now costs more than Charles Kennedy's old bar tab and in the real world successful GCSE results don't necessarily transfer to success in real life. I can't find anywhere saying what the Prime Minister got when she was at school but I know that Jeremy Corbyn got two A-levels both E's um, although Ed Miliband got four A-levels and see how that worked out for him in the real world. Anyway see you next week with news of whatever madness has gone on in Washington while I was away.